if you bring year 10 now, when we get back to school after half term, the year 11s have probably gone. They might be back to do a few inductions or a few um, experiences, but they're not going to be teaching anymore. And the year 13s have definitely all gone to do fun and exciting things, which means you guys are going to be the focus of teachers' attention from now on. Which you might notice a little bit of shift in focus, a little bit of shift in pressure, as a lot more attention is paid to you because you are effectively year 11s now and when you start year 11 your year 10 would have been disrupted your year 9 would have been disrupted so you'll be starting your final year of GCSEs having not done a whole normal year of schooling since year 8 which is a lot of stuff we have to cut up which is a lot of getting back to normal that we have to do but do not worry about this because it will all be okay. Your teachers are well aware of this, I'm well aware of this, and we're all doing absolutely everything we can to help you out with this. Now, chances are you're going to have end of year assessments when you go back, and this is what the teachers are going to use to judge how much, uh, how far you are behind, possibly which sets you're going to go into for year 11 when they change things around a bit. Please do not stress about these too much. Please look at these as an opportunity to find out where the gaps in your knowledge are. Because if there is a big gap in your knowledge, for whatever reason that is, the sooner we find out about it and we can fix it, the better. Now, I don't want you to be doing loads and loads of work over half term. I don't want you to be stressing too much. I really do want you to take this opportunity to kind of let them recover from the shock of the at school and then prepare for the last half term of year uh, 10. There is lots of things that you can be doing that are helpful. For example, you can start making flashcards of things. You will use these flashcards in your revision for your end of year 10 tests and then you can use them again as a revision for your end of year 11 tests. Now these don't have to be fancy or expensive, just get a bit of paper and rip it up and then write things on either side. Or if you don't want to do that, go and download the ones from my website or get a card and make it or use whatever online app that you want to. There are lots of different ways that you can do this. But in part, the act of actually making the flashcards yourself is really, really useful. And I've done loads of videos with facts that you need to learn, like the equations or accurate values for trig. These are things that you need to learn and you can watch a video and make the flashcards. This isn't high pressure, intense revision, but it is all really, really useful stuff that will help you in the long term. Now, you're probably going to be sitting some papers, which may be a slightly unusual experience for you, especially since we didn't do it any at the end of last year. Do not worry yourself too much about this. You will get a lot more experience in doing this before you have to sit down at the end of year 11. And now I know this is probably going to be a bit hard for you to um, fully realise. But actually sitting exam papers is good for you. And it puts you at a massive advantage over the students that are currently in year 11 who have had to do loads of assessments without the practice that they had in year 10. So this practice is all really, really good for you. The best way to revise for any exam is by doing lots and lots of practice questions. And these can be in your workbooks, the ones that you've bought, or the ones that you've downloaded from my website. But just try and do as many questions as you can. Um, but honestly, guys, the most important thing for you to do at the moment is to get out in the sun and enjoy yourself a little bit. And relax, because things are hopefully going back to normal relatively soon. And um, yeah, we can think about year 11 later on.